guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be interviewing Holly. Do you want hey to introduce guys. yourself? Hey guys, I'm Holly Snyder. Um, I'm a part of the Georgia Gymnastics team. I'm a sophomore here and um, I'm from Annapolis, Maryland. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> okay, I have some questions for you. All right, I'm ready. What got you interested in gymnastics? Do you remember the first time you tried it? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I would say I was really young, so I was probably like two or three when I started gymnastics. So I just remember, I. it's actually kind of a funny story. I used to like be in my crib. This is what my mom said. And I would sneak out of my crib like when I was like walking, obviously, probably three years old. And I would go over to my neighbor's house and I would play on their monkey bars. <laughs> and funny, funniest story of them all, basically one time I did this and no one could find me at all. And they were like, where's Holly? Where's Holly? Where's Holly? They had the whole neighborhood looking for me. Wow. And then my neighbor goes to her backyard looks outside and sees me swinging on the monkey bars and she was like, all right, it's time to sign her up for gymnastics. <laughs> and so ever since then, I started it. And then, what's the second question? Is it? Do you remember the first time you tried it? Oof, I don't remember, but I do remember like being in classes and I just was flipping around everywhere and I was like <laughs> bouncing off the walls and they were like, oh my gosh, we need to move her up. And so, yeah, ever since then, I've been doing gymnastics. What's it like being a part of the UGA gymnastics team? Is it what you always dreamed of? I love it here. I honestly do. And being a part of UGA, is, it wasn't always my dream. I honestly, like, didn't have a dream school, dream college uh, when I was, like, growing up in gymnastics. Um, but... I love UGA because like the community, the atmosphere, all the girls, like we are such a close knit team. And last year was just so amazing. Like we had a couple like rough spots in the beginning mm -hmm. um, with like injuries and stuff like that. And I think that really brought us all together. And I don't know, it's just like, I do, I love it here. It's, it's so cool. The facilities are so nice and if I could say, like, is it what you is this what you've always dreamed of? I would be like, yeah, honestly, it is. Like, I couldn't ask for a better school. Number three, what's a typical practice day like for you? Do you have any fun or favorite drills? Ooh, well, I mean, so right now I'm recovering from surgery. Mm -hmm. So my typical practice day right now is. I basically, I start on bars, so I can do bars. I've been doing bar routines and stuff, which is great. Um, and then me and Jada, do you know Jada mm -hmm. on the team? She tore her Achilles recently. Yeah, it's not, not good. Um, so me and her, we do lift every single day together in the weight room right next door. And we do that for about an hour. And then we come back and we just do a lot of rehab. But I'd say, Fun drills. I, I like doing drills on bars. And I actually just made a video um, about like some of my favorite drills that they're going to post on the UJ Gymnastics account. So you can look at those. <laughs> Number four. Is there a skill or a move you're working hard to get better at this year? Oh, so I would say, again, bars right now is like the only thing I'm working. Um, but I'm, I am working a new dismount on bars. I did it in high school, but last year I just didn't do it because of, I had that hip injury and it's a blindfold to a full out. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm working to add that to my bar routine this year. And also, um, hmm, Ryan really wants me to do a like layout Ray but I don't know. We'll see about that. <laughs> Maybe next summer we'll work on it, but yeah. Number five, how do you balance school and gymnastics? Do you have any tips for kids who would want to do both? 
Oh, I like that question a lot. Um, it's honestly, it's hard. It's stressful at first, like coming in, um, being a freshman last year, having like this full list of classes and gymnastics every single day. It's, it's a lot, but honestly, I just learned like as you go. And every single day is new. Every single day you're going to learn. You're going to learn from your mistakes if you like turned in an assignment late. But it's really just time managing. So just prioritizing, getting all your homework done for the week. And my favorite thing to do is um, just like making, having like a school like academic calendar just for that month. And I'll go in at the beginning of each month and look at all the assignments that I have to do for that month. And I'll plan it all out and plan which days I need to do them. And so that really helps me a lot. <laughs> Number six, what's the best memory you have of being on the VGA team so far? Oh, that's a good question. I need to think about that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of really good memories. Um, I would say our retreat one our retreats, um, all of like last year and this year. This year we went to, actually both years we went to a lake house. So it was really fun, really cool team bonding. Um, but I would say one of my favorite memories is me, Nicole and Anya. We all flew to Texas to surprise Lily at NCAA nationals. And we got to see her compete and honestly, I don't know. That was just such a cool experience for me, and I was so proud of her. And yeah, I hope we can be there as a team one day. So soon. Number seven. When you get nervous or feel pressure at a competition, how do you stay calm and focused? Ooh, I like that question too. Um, I would say for me, I kind of I like to remind myself, like how much I do it, how often I do this in the gym, how often I practice it and make all of my routines. Um, and I visualize a lot. I love to visualize. And I listen to the same song right for every meet and it's Unstoppable by Sia. Uh -huh. That's like, I don't know, for some reason I have to listen to it. And it's, I close my eyes and I just like visualize, visualize me hitting all my routines and like saluting and having a great routine and being happy. And I don't know, it really helps me. But I would say before all of my routines, I like, again, I'll close my eyes, I visualize, and then I say a prayer. And then I'm like, Holly, you got this. Mm -hmm. And Ryan told me, like, fake it till you make it. Even if you are nervous, don't act nervous. And honestly, like, it really helps me. And you have to think about, like, you're performing for the judge. Like, the judge, like, wants to see you like see you do your best and wants to see you be great and you like have to show that judge be like I'm gonna show you what I can do because <laughs> I'm great and I'm unstoppable so yeah I like to do that too when yeah. I have competitions yeah. they really help actually it does it does really help a lot <laughs> eight who has been your biggest supporter or role model in your gymnastics journey oh I don't know. There's been a lot. Um, I don't have like a specific role model. Um, I would just say like all of my teammates um, worked so hard. Like I, the sophomore class, um, everyone is such a hard worker. Like coming in freshman year, like I just look around and they would all motivate me. And because they were doing so well, they all worked so hard. And I just like, I want to be like that. And so I think throughout my career, like it's just always been like my teammates and they obviously supported me through everything. And my parents, um, they also are really hard workers. My dad, he was a collegiate athlete. So I know I can always like turn to him if I ever need anything or if I'm ever struggling because he understood. Um, he played lacrosse at the Naval Academy. So yeah, that's it. Number nine, what do you do when you face a tough challenge or get an injury? How do you stay positive? Well, this is a good one because I just had surgery. Um, so obviously, like, 
wasn't the best case scenario. I didn't really want surgery, but I think that I like to think about it that like it's going to make me better. Like going through like this is going to make me come out as a stronger person on the other side. Because like if you can go through an injury, if you can go through a tough challenge or a hardship, then and you can come out on the other side. I think that like really shows a lot about who you are and how tough you are and what a great person you are. So, yeah. Last question, number 10. Ooh. What's something you love to do outside of gymnastics? Do you have any hobbies? Ooh. Um, I mean, I don't know. I love to hang out with my friends. Um, over the summer before I got surgery, I love to play pickleball. That was like my new obsession. I played it with my mom when I went back home a lot and my friends. Um, I would say paddleboarding too. I love paddleboarding. I love going on boats. Um, I live like near water. So I would say like that's my favorite. But like I also love hanging out with my friends. So yeah. Those are all the questions I have for you today. Thanks, Chloe. You're welcome. <laughs>